TJ Finley's first game as a starter was the best debut for a freshman quarterback in LSU history. Breaking offensive coordinator Steve Vince Maker's record for most passing yards and a true freshman's first start. Coach E came in and told me the other day, he said, okay, TJ, I got you. And TJ said, what's that, uh, Coach? He said, you beat my record. TJ just laughed and said, oh, Coach, well, you called the game. <laughs> Finley's 265 passing yards now stands in the Tiger record books, but his parents, David and Dr. Shannon, weren't surprised with their son's early success. I knew that he was going to have a, a great game. Mm -hmm. uh, I knew he was ready. Honestly, if you ask this coach, Coach Paint, he's been a college player playing high school ball since his sophomore year. Finley's abilities on the field are evident, but Dr. Shannon and David are most proud of TJ's character as a leader which he developed during his time at Ponchatoula High School. Well, his first you know, three years in Ponchatoula was uh, very horrific. I mean, the, his class that he came up with, a lot of them were in trouble, juvenile detention, uh, dropped out of school. So he actually, his senior year, he had it was him and one other guy left in that whole group. Go look at Ponchatoula now. Hey, look at me! TJ handprint is all over that team. That's what we tell them all the time. It's a gift that God has given you that comes so naturally, so it's effortlessly because it's in you, and to harness on that gift and to uh, allow it to broaden. So he's really taking ownership of his leadership. He gets stronger and stronger at it, and he's actually enjoying it. TJ's success started in the off season when he dropped close to 30 pounds. Finley arrived on campus weighing nearly 270, but his teammates gave him some motivation to lose weight. A, a lot of the guys messed with me and said I'll move to D-tackle, so I kind of took that to heart. He locked in and he was waking up early in the morning. He was doing two a days. He was eating uh, more healthy. He was watching what he was putting in, even beverage wise. So he actually clicked in himself. There was nothing extra we needed to do. TJ's last start was a loss against Auburn where he committed three turnovers. But the Phillies are confident their son won't have the same game again. What I want him to do is control his mistake. Don't hurt the team yourself. Mm -hmm. So like I tell people, like I tell her, leave my son alone. <laughs> He's a freshman in college. He'll, he'll never have that bad of a game. We pray not. <laughs> we pray not. Covering LSU football for your Go Nation, I'm Jared Joseph.